kids used to take my lunch and stuff. Like hungry, I can always just get a snack. In classroom, I used to be like hungry and it wasn't even lunch yet. So I really love this homeschooling. A lot of people would say that a lot of homeschoolers have social problems and they're not good with like being friendly or talking to people. But a lot of them, well, very few said that and a lot of them really agreed with it and wish they had the time to homeschool their children. I think about um, young people who get a lot of support from adults in their lives. Socially inept. Family. I guess uh, not sheltered. Crazy wackadoodles from the Midwest. I actually think homeschooling is really good. Um, it's an opportunity for the parents to see what the kids really want, as opposed to being in a public school where the state tells them what to teach. So that's a good thing. I think that they uh, study in a more independently. Homeschoolers learn at home with their parents. Homeschoolers are schooled by their parents who have to be educated to a certain degree and certificated to a certain degree. They probably do a lot of projects. They do a lot of one-on-one -on -one problem solving. So they work with an adult to solve problems together. I've been homeschooled for a year, so um, they wake up in the morning. They do their usually their morning's assignments. Um, sometimes they have groups together with other kids. Probably what you guys are doing right now, going around asking <laughs> questions. <laughs> Because the educational system these days is not up to par where it needs to be for the youth to grow and succeed in public education anyways. Private schools are good, but we need this help in the private the public school systems. And I can see why people would want to homeschool. Different reasons, maybe they need to get caught up. Um, sometimes they have their own religious reasons. Perhaps people homeschool children because they feel like the apprentice method, the method of working um, one person under another, um, is a really good way to learn. So that's probably one reason. Um, probably because um, it's been my experience that kids who are homeschooled um, are very bright and they also flourish in an environment that's comfortable and supportive where they get a lot of good nutrition and lots of positive encouragement. Because the environment for their kids is no good at the public school and they don't get along at public school or the teaching isn't very good at public school. They're very likely unhappy with some aspect of the public school system. If they were smart they would do it if they had the time and the money they would totally do it. But homeschooling is actually uh, taking the responsibility of raising your kids and instead of putting it off to somebody else that you don't know uh, just keep it in the home you know, we have the best vested interest in our children as parents so why not us teach our kids homeschooling is, is, a, is a ministry where, where we're called parents are called by the Lord to do it again to teach our children yes to teach. predominantly about the Lord and then of course the general curriculum to me, from a, a biblical perspective, um, homeschooling is one that um, you're able to teach at home uh, the basic principles of, of the Bible and incorporate Bible into basic learning, aside from a secular uh, standpoint. A secular view is, is what I think um, a small definition of homeschooling to me. So. Yeah, I think homeschooling is just learning from morning till night you're always learning you're always doing things it's being willing to try new things and uh, it is doing it with the principles that you in your family believe are the best a lot of organizing um, some of our homeschooling is done 
um, at the moment. Maybe there's a learning moment. We're cooking. Everybody wants to see how to crack an egg. We can do that. And then there's also a lot of planning. We, we start with an agenda and we write out um, uh, daily what we're going to do, what we hope to accomplish. doesn't always mean that we get everything done, but we seem to enjoy the process. We usually start with Bible in the mornings and then math and uh, English and then uh, we do our other subjects. And then there's days where we do Friday school and we go we get to socialize and spend time with others. And then there's days that we do field trips, we'll just take off and go to the zoo or whatnot and spend time together as family. To me, uh, part of you know the process is also learning how to get along with others. We'll do a lot of things where we have to interact with one another and learn how to to do just simple things, going into a restaurant, ordering food, or buying groceries at the store. We try and incorporate life and what you're really going to have to deal with out in the world. We use a, a uh, biblical curriculum. Two and, different. Yeah, from my father's world. And uh, we run it from 8.30 to 3 o'clock. Well, we also do a lot of field trips so that they can not just see it, but they can also go and experience it. You know what, we get to take every opportunity and it's not just uh, academics or books because personally I found out that people could be book smart and get out into the world and not know what they're doing. So we try to take every opportunity that uh, we get in real life to teach but also, you know, f you know, uh, have a basis with, you know, you still need the, fu the fundamentals, math and all those things. So we use books for that but we just kind of use uh, everyday life. You know what, it was on my wife's heart to put to homeschool even when my oldest was 15 now, even when he was uh, was young. Um, I was actually kind of opposed to it at the beginning. Um, and I thought of the whole social thing. The only thing I really missed about school was just playing baseball. The rest about schooling and all that. Um, and just where the, what's being taught today in the, in, in the school systems, even the good uh, public schools, even the private schools, it's something I don't, I don't agree with many of the things I don't agree with. So I don't want someone else's opinion influencing my children. So I'd rather, you know, once again, have our values instilled in them instead of somebody else's that I don't know even, even know who they are. The Lord calls. Uh, we, well, I ran away from it for about six months. And then people from all over were just contacting me and running into me, just happened to homeschool. See, I didn't want to because I wanted all my kids to go into public school so I could be free and do what I wanted, <laughs> actually get the house clean. But everywhere I went, I just felt the Lord convicting me. Um, um, my wife, uh, Lisa, said that she had a calling to build a godly heritage. And building that godly heritage um, encompasses um, um, homeschooling and teaching again the, the basic principles. So we feel that God has called us to build a godly heritage in our family. We have four wonderful children and, and building a godly heritage through them and in turn building an, an heritage after that and I think is, is the core of, of our responsibility that God's called us to homeschool and that's, that's the requirement that uh, I believe is um, successful in the homeschooling process and that's why we homeschool. I could put God first in my schooling. That's what I really like. Back when I was public schooled, I didn't talk or see my parents as much as I do now. You just get closer to family the more you're at home. If there are any negatives, they were completely outweighed. Because, uh, you know, you're not going to be in the home forever. You know, at one point we're going to be out in the world. And now that I'm in college, I'm not, like, shocked by everything there. I... Okay, have any more questions? <laughs>